Hotel Romeo Bravo, Roger. This is KC9VKV. Uh, what's the name there? Yes, sir. That's Bob, Roger. Uh, Bob, why don't you give me about 10 seconds and let me uh, run around and uh, see if I can get a better coffee on you, Roger. Let me uh, run around and uh, see if I can get a better coffee on you, Roger. Hey, okay, Jim. Yeah, why don't you uh, try to... Um STRs, and you may be able to buy them in New Jersey. Uh, we had talked at, uh, I was in Wisconsin, and uh, I have actually relocated to New Jersey. I barely got a copy on you. You may be able to get me better on uh, one of the STRs. Uh, come back. Yes, sir. I get you about uh, 20 over on uh, PASDR. And uh, what uh, radio are you running today, Bob? DR. And uh, what uh, radio are you running today, Bob? Hey, I'm on the TS590SG uh, with the EQ Plus, Roger. Uh, Roger that. And you're up around New York, is that it, Roger? Uh, Roger that. And you're up around New York, is that it, Roger? Uh, New Jersey, New Jersey. Sorry about that, Roger, Roger. <laughs> uh, New Jersey. Uh, well, let's see, gosh, uh, why don't you, uh, I got a good copy on you now, so why don't you give me about 10 seconds and tell me about uh, the thing you like about your radio and let me listen to you just for a minute. Tell me about uh, the thing you like about your radio and let me listen to you just for a minute. Yeah, okay, Jim, uh, we, we've got the, uh, we're running the EQ Plus, I uh, love the radio. Um, I, I don't know if you have any studies for the 590 SG, the Kenwood 590 SG for uh, the EQ Plus, but I am running both and I, I think I got it uh, working pretty good. Um, I just wanted to try to uh, get in here. I've been trying for the last uh, three or four weeks to try and talk to you, um, but I've been uh, busy on uh, Friday afternoons, Roger. Roger, Bob, well, you sound like you might be a little hot into your AOC. Sound like you might be just a little hot into your AOC. So why don't we uh, just run through a couple of things and uh, see what we got. First is uh, be sure that you're in that wide 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Uh, it's called wide 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandwidth, Roger. Wide 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandwidth, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, yeah, I'm set up wide. I have. Uh, I can turn some output level down, but I'll let you call the shots, Roger. All right, sir. So you're in that uh, wide transmit bandwidth, uh, which will uh, make that radio perform at its maximum, uh, or at the uh, best. I mean, you can. Some radios you can exceed 2,900, but then the problem is that you have folks coming to look for you with pitchforks. So you don't want that. So you want to be in that 100 to 2,900 transmit bandwidth. After that, the starting of our setup procedure is. Uh, compression processor on at a 3 or 30 depending on how it's labeled uh, transmit uh, uh, processor compressor on at a 3 or 30 depending on how it's labeled Roger on at a 3 or 30 depending on how it's labeled Roger hey Roger Roger I can uh, I usually run without the processor but I can uh, I can put it on here give me a second and uh, there you go there's a processor on. It's probably turned up pretty high. Um, let me see here. I have to get the menus open. Yeah, uh, if that's fairly easily. If not, we can just dump the processor, but it, or pr compressor. But if you can easily ad adjust that to just a third of its capability, a three out of uh, ten or thirty out of a hundred, Roger. Uh, ten or thirty out of a hundred, Roger. Okay, what I want uh, on your output, uh, do you have a, a medium control like 50? Is the output, uh, can you put output uh, of that uh, processor, com compressor to uh, 50, Roger? Of that uh, processor, com 
Approach to uh, 50, Roger. Again, I, depending on what the uh, how it's labeled, we only want half the possibilities of the compressor processor uh, to uh, 50 or 5 uh, out of 10 or 50 out of 100 on the output. Roger. I'm sorry, we doubled uh, 5 out of 10 or uh, 50 out of 100 uh, as far as the output level of the compressor processor. 50 out of 100 uh, as far as the output level of the compressor processor. Yeah, pro uh, output level of the processor is 50, so 50 out of 100. Okay, so now go to your mic gain. Uh, as you say the word audio and you're looking at your AOC meter, uh, so uh, we want you to uh, go to two-thirds on your AOC meter as you say the word audio. Stretch out the first that word, but don't, uh, don't uh, stress it. Just say it, audio, and adjust your mic gain until your AOC meter is running two-thirds. Roger. Until your AOC meter is running two-thirds. Roger. Yes, sir. Okay, now, uh, if you would, uh, Bob, tell me about uh, the best thing you like about your radio so I can hear you for a minute. About uh, the best thing you like about your radio so I can hear you for a minute. I guess the best thing I like to talk about my radio is that uh, I, I enjoy talking on it, and I enjoy the receive side of it, and I enjoy, uh, I enjoy the DX, Roger. Okay, so uh, the output of the processor uh, compressor is at uh, uh, half uh, half level, about 50 out of 100, or 5 out of 10, Roger? Uh, half level, about 50 out of 100, or 5 out of 10, Roger? Hey, Roger, Roger, output is 50, output on the processor is 50, and uh, the mic gain is down very, very low, the mic gain is down out of, on uh, 5 out of 100, but see, I'm pushing it, I am pushing the EQ plus, so I have mic gain on the EQ plus too, and uh, that's what I wanted to uh, to talk about. If you had any settings on the TS590 with the EQ plus, Roger. Yes, sir. Take the EQ plus. Uh, take your internal mic gain to five or fifty midways, and then adjust your your mic level until uh, you're at uh, two thirds on your ALC meter. In other words, uh, you're, right now you're pushing the front end of your, uh, your audio uh, preamp. So what we want is uh, to get some uh, uh, flexibility uh, up for overhead. So if you set to your mic, internal mic gain at uh, midpoint 5 or 50, and look at your ALC as you do the word audio and adjust your external mic gain until uh, you're at uh, two-thirds, Roger? Until uh, you're at uh, two-thirds, Roger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that uh, sounds better. Then then I can I can just back down the gain and the output level. And I, there you go. Now we're getting halfway uh, half to halfway respectable. There, I think. And um, it's coming down. It's still probably a little bit raspy. I have, got, I have a lot of compression on there, so I'm I am probably overdriving it. But um, I'm probably coming back down now. Yeah, check 
one, two, three, audio, audio, audio. How's that, Jim? And uh, I'd like to try it with and without the processor, Roger. Uh, yeah, well, can can you bypass the mic, the mic processor? I think that may be the the problem. It's just. You know, it's really, it sounds like it's a fast attack recovery time, and uh, it's, uh, you know, um, really uh, a lot. I think your internal compressor might be cleaner, if you know what I mean. Uh, a lot. I think your internal compressor might be cleaner, if you know what I mean. What I would like to try is, uh, are you running that external stuff uh, for your EQ or for your for additional compression or, or what? For your EQ or for your for additional compression or, or what? And just as a test, how much of it can we bypass? Uh, you know, we can add it in later maybe, but uh, just to see if we can get a nice fat signal uh, without uh, uh, sounding like we're trying to hit the moon. Uh, sounding like we're trying to hit the moon. Yeah, I dropped you, uh, I dropped you on the uh, uh, frequency. I bumped the frequency. Uh, should sound completely different now. The processor is off. That's with the processor off. Um, I hope you still got a decent enough copy on me, and then uh, I've got the mic gain back down on the... I've got the output level and the mic gain turned down on 50, 50 on the mic gain, and uh, that is without the processor, and then uh, that is with the processor when I uh, kick the processor on. I hope you can get that, Roger. Yes, sir. So your outboard has a compressor on it uh, first, Roger. So, so your outboard has a compressor on it uh, first, Roger. Hey, Roger that, Roger that, and I turn, I turn the compression down a little bit. Um, I, I, I don't know. Is it better with the processor on or with the processor off? Well, that's what I wanted to find out. Uh, check which processor seems to be uh, the better processor. Now, uh, can you kill the processor in the mic and we'll come up with a compressor uh, in, the, uh, in the radio? And we'll come up with a compressor uh, in, the, uh, in the radio? I miss that, I miss that, no copy, uh, say that again. Roger, can you kill the compressor, uh, external compressor, and go to the internal compressor? Uh, external compressor and go to the internal compressor? Yeah, Roger, I can, but I'm going to drop off big time, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, I'll, I'll flip it off right now, and now, there you go. Now there's no, um, no, uh, no outboard uh, processor on right now. Um, if I had, and uh, do I have an onboard processor? Inboard processor is off. Both processors are off right now, and then I can, um, I can, this is, that's the inboard processor right there. Um, I think by far the uh, inboard processor is not as good as the outboard processor, so I will turn the uh, outboard processor off now, and I will turn the inboard processor on, and uh, I think there's probably a notable difference. I think the uh, outboard processor is by far, from what I'm seeing on the ALC, is by far uh, of better quality and is uh, making a bigger difference in the signal. Roger. Okay, uh, let's uh, reset the AOC level then uh, for the outboard uh, compressor. So you sounded hot. Um, so just uh, go through the audio thing and adjust your uh, your uh, AOC level for uh, two thirds, Roger, with the external compressor on. The level for uh, two thirds, Roger, with the external compressor on. Hey, Roger that. Yeah, it's real high. So there we go. Audio. Audio. Audio, 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 yep. So when I turn the gain down, I also have a, a noise gate that I have to turn and uh, to pick up the signal. Start to get fuzzy. I'm not sure what's going on. Not enough. There we go. Um, there we go. Audio, 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 audio. That's a, that's about it. It's uh, it's pretty finicky. Um, I think maybe still a little bit too much outboard compression. There we go. That's probably a little bit more respectable. Uh, let me know. Roger, one, two, three. Audio, audio, audio. Yes, sir. I think that's uh, probably about the best we I've heard so far. So let's just uh, uh, call it even there. Now, it, does that outboard uh, gear have uh, uh, equalizer capabilities? Does gear have 
of uh, uh, equalizer capabilities. I have base in trouble on outboard, and then I have a full EQ in the radio. Roger, Roger. Well, usually I, you know, suggest one or the other. Uh, uh, can you uh, do uh, a parametric uh, like a 2.7 kilohertz with the four? Parametric uh, like a 2.7 kilohertz with the four. Uh, no, I have. Uh, it, it goes from uh, uh, 300 hertz to uh, 5100. It's a nine band uh, equalizer inside the radio, and the uh, EQ plus is uh, just face in trouble, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, gosh, uh, uh, I guess uh, that you're running mainly uh, EQ off the uh, black box uh, on, on external, Roger? EQ off the uh, black box uh, on, on external, Roger. Actually, it's an 18 band EQ inside the radio, and uh, I, I could change some values. I don't know if it's going to matter. Um, I could show you the curve. Uh, I could do some screenshots maybe um, for you, but uh, if you want some more bass in trouble, I can do that. Um, I don't know uh, what, what you think there. Well, uh, usually on 18-band, uh, we keep everything flat from uh, 400 cycles to 1.6K, everything flat in that region because... You know, a microphone normally is relatively flat within those ranges. Uh, the differences occur at the top and the bottom of the spectrum for most mics. So we want the mid-range uh, from uh, 400 cycles to 1.6K uh, to be flat. And then uh, on our treble, uh, we're looking for um, uh, a push point of uh, 2.7 kilohertz. Um, at uh, with the four plus five or six, something like that, and then on the low side, um, we're down to 200 cycles uh, minus four, something like that. So, uh, you know, that's what we normally would do. But when you have uh, external uh, processing, it becomes, you know, so much difficult, so much more difficult uh, to figure out which way to go, Roger. So much more difficult uh, to figure out which way to go, Roger. Yeah, that, that right there is uh, pretty flat all the way across with a little, you know, 300 cycles up to 15. I'm pretty flat all the way out to uh, 3,000, actually. Um, I don't know what, what that did to me. I don't know uh, what that sounds like, but uh, the ALC is a lot better. It's responding a little differently, so I don't know what kind of copy you got on me there. Audio, audio, uh, how's that? Yes, sir. Now, uh, since you do not have a parametric, the, the ideal push point is 2.7 kilohertz. So since you do not have the capability of doing that, we would do a compromise between 4KC and 2KC, 4KC at um, plus uh, 6, and uh, 2KC at uh, plus 2. Uh, Roger? 2KC at uh, plus 2. Uh, Roger? Hold on. 14, uh, 15, I have a 15. So 15's at 6, 18's at 6, and uh, 2,000, I have 2,100 is at 6. Roger. Well, anything over three is uh, kind of, uh, it's not useless, but uh, I'd prefer just that we concentrate on the push point, which is a t ideally 2.7K. And so to, that, to get that on your equalizer, we need to, to push uh, 4K and 2K. Uh, and so the uh, between those is, uh, you, you know, 2.7. Roger, Roger. So the uh, between those is, uh, you know, 2.7. Roger, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Um, all right. I don't know uh, if you're noticing it. I, do you have a good enough copy on me to uh, even um, tell what, what's going on here or, or no? Uh, running through the PASDR, which, uh, you know, all, P, all uh, SDRs tend to roll the bottom at about 200 cycles. So I'm trying to make allowances for that. I, I do not have you on my... Uh, local antenna, did not have you on my local antenna. Come back and talk to me for a minute, see if you're on my local antenna now. You're on my local antenna. Come back and talk to me for a minute, see if you're on my local antenna now. 
Hey, okay. I was on the um, talking to you out of Wisconsin, and now um, I'm in New Jersey, and I am on a uh, vertical. I'm on a zero five uh, vertical, uh, the the, uh, the ten a forty meter vertical, and it's up only about twelve feet off the ground. It's a ground mounted vertical, and uh, completely um, different antenna, same radio, same EQ plus. Um, and I'm running the uh, AL 811 um, with probably, uh, you know, five, four, five hundred watts. Yeah, quite frankly, Bob, um, you sound better through the radio stuff than you do with the outboard stuff. Uh, you you have some distortion in there in the outboard stuff. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, I think you were cleaner uh, in the uh, internal stuff. But, uh, you know, uh, you right now your signal has some uh, uh, abundance of uh, mids, and uh, that's why I wanted you to set your... Um, you know, if you're going to use your, I tell you what, why don't we just come out of the uh, inboard EQ, just come out of that and go into your just your uh, outboard stuff, Roger. Come out of that and go into your just your uh, outboard stuff, Roger. Yeah, Roger, that, that's what I just did. And, uh, I'm not getting any ALC at all, so I probably got to wake up the ALC, Roger. Uh, don't check to be sure that your amp is percolating. Uh, our Mother Nature just pulled the rug out. Mother Nature just pulled the rug out. Yeah, that's, uh, the ALC is way down now, so uh, that, that EQ Plus is uh, is really boosting the audio, so I had to really come up on the gain. I can even probably come up more on the gain. So now I'm, uh, I have to run the uh, mic gain right now at 95, Roger. Uh, okay. Um Set your uh, compression output up to uh, up to 60. Set your compression output up to 60 now. And your your are you totally bypassed uh, your external stuff? And your your are you totally bypassed uh, your external stuff? Uh, Roger, yeah, I'm uh, completely bypassing it, and I am all on the uh, through the transmitter right now. Yes, sir. Okay, go to ALC, and uh, with Mike Gain in hand, and do the audio, and reset your ALC level, Roger. Gain in hand, and do the audio, and reset your ALC level, Roger. Hey, Roger, audio, we're, we're really low. Um, that is about half to three-quarter on the high of the ALC. Um, Mike Gain is almost all the way up. Um, that's 100% Mike Gain right there, and that probably puts us right at three-quarters. Um, on the uh, the ALC, that's full mic gain. I don't know what that's doing, Roger. Roger, Bob, set it with the uh, the word audio for two thirds on your ALC. The, uh, the word audio for two thirds on your ALC. Yeah, audio, audio, audio. That's uh, about three quarter ALC uh, with the processor on, Roger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think you sound cleanest there, and you're running about a 3 dB dynamic range, which is uh, just just perfect, Roger. A 3 dB dynamic range, which is uh, just just perfect, Roger. Hey, Roger that. So uh, I'm not overdriving it um, anymore, and uh, probably a little bit clearer audio. I don't know. I have to listen to the uh, tape, and uh, I have to compare... Uh, I'll definitely be able to hear a difference, though. Yes, yeah, so I've got uh, some uh, sideband garbage coming in now. Just started some sideband garbage, but uh, uh, I can hear you uh, well enough to, you know, to, to tell that. And uh, let's see, uh, so uh, uh, back to EQ, and I, what, we, what do we leave that uh, top end at? Uh, uh, we want to go uh, a little bit brighter, so take your 4K C to plus... Uh, Plus eight. Can you do that? Four K C plus eight. Uh, plus eight. Can you do that? Four K C plus eight. Uh, I uh, plus six. That's plus six. Uh, uh, it's thirty nine hundred, and it's plus six. Roger. All right. Uh, thirty nine hundred. What? What is thirty nine? The frequency. All uh, right. Uh, thirty nine hundred. What? What is thirty nine? The frequency. 
frequency is uh, it's spread from 3,900 to 4,200, and I've set both of those up to four out of six. They're on four out of six, Roger. 39 and 42 are really too high. I would go ahead and take those back to zero, and I would be looking more at uh, 4K. Uh, 3.9, uh, 3 3.8, 3 somewhere in there, Roger. Uh, 3.9, 3.8, somewhere in there, Roger. Okay, okay, there you go. Uh, we'll try that. A uh, lot of lot of uh, buttons and switches here, so it makes it. Uh, I think it makes it kind of tough on both ends, Roger. But uh, I backed it down a little bit, um, and uh, there you go. Yeah, I would think you were good where you were just a minute ago on that one. Is that uh, 4K? You were good where you were just a minute ago on that one. Is that uh, 4K? Uh, 3900 is, is down low, so um, not sure. Uh, 4K is, uh, you're talking about the, the hertz, right? Or the cycle? Yes, sir. Um, can you get to 2.7? How close can you get to a 2.7 push point? Can you get to a 2.7? How close can you get to a 2.7 push point? Uh, are you talking on the settings as far as the uh, location uh, settings? Yes, sir. Your, your treble control, uh, your frequency range, 2.7 kilohertz is the ideal push point frequency to uh, push for your, tr your treble EQ, Roger. Push point frequency to uh, push for your, tr your treble EQ, Roger. Uh, Roger that. So do you want, uh, two, I can get right on 2.7. Um, right now it's uh, set to 4 out of 6. 4 out of 6 on 2.7. All right, so you have, you can, uh, you do have a parametric that you can adjust, 2.7, Roger? Can, uh, you do have a parametric that you can adjust, 2.7, Roger? Roger that, Roger that. Okay, 2.7 frequency, uh, width of 4, can you give me a width of 4? 2.7 frequency, uh, width of 4, can you give me a width of 4? Yeah, Roger, it's at 4, 4 out of 6, 4 out of 6. I'm not sure what that means. Is that the width? We want a 4. Uh, usually width is goes from uh, from uh, 0 to 10 on your on your uh, uh, transmit EQ width. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what you're saying there, Roger. EQ width. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what you're saying there, Roger. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. It's uh it's two uh, it's about two notches. Uh, from being full on at six, so the the twenty seven hundred. I think I need to send you some pictures. Is what I need to do. Okay, what's your uh, what's your maximum push capability? How how much uh, level can you push at uh, two point seven kilohertz? Which, uh, level can you push at uh, two point seven kilohertz? I can go two more settings. So it's uh, a zero point, and we got six up and six down. See, I don't understand that. Uh, I just know, I mean, you have a zero point that's back there at uh, uh, plus or minus zero, and then from there you have, uh, what, plus, uh, plus 10 on the push and minus uh, 10 on the uh, attenuation? On the push and minus uh, 10 on the uh, attenuation? Uh, zero, no, there's, there, from zero you go six up and then uh, six down, so it's push and pull is six. Okay, so uh, 2.7 uh, plus plus six, and uh, and uh, that anything below the 2.7, uh, just uh, take it back a couple of dB. So we don't have uh, much uh, mid-range ring in it. So primarily, it's a 2.7 width of four that is the top EQ point, Roger. Seven width of four, that is the top EQ point, Roger. Hey, Roger that. 2.7 is at 4. I have uh, 2.4 and I have uh, 3 also. All right, sounds pretty good. Uh, and you have uh, at uh, 200 cycles on the bottom end and the base end, you have 200 cycles uh, uh, width of 4 uh, plus, uh, or, or sorry, uh, minus uh, uh, 6. Is that a Roger? Or sorry, uh, minus uh, uh, 6. Is that a Roger? Uh, no. Uh, 2.1 is at zero right now. 
Uh, yes, I'm talking about your bass frequency. Your bass frequency. Uh, we want that to be uh, 200 cycles. Roger, uh, move that to 200 cycles with the 4 minus 6. Roger. 200 cycles with the 4 minus 6. Roger. Yeah, Roger that. It's, it's uh, right at 0. There's also a 1.8. I can bring that one down a little bit, too. Just leave it, leave it there. That that sounds really good, just like that, Roger. Just leave it, leave it there. That that sounds really good, just like that, Roger. Hey, okay, I'll leave it there, and uh, I guess we uh, we leave the uh, outboard processor. We keep that out of the mess, I guess, huh? I think uh, I think it's a lot cleaner without it. I think you sound uh, over compressed uh, with it in there and distorted, Roger. And you you'll hear that when you hear the audio, Roger. And distorted, Roger. And you you'll hear that when you hear the audio, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. So there, uh, this is the uh, the outboard processor um, on very low um, with the compression on very low, just compression. I'm not running anything else. Um, can you tell a difference between that? And I can hear it. It sounds kind of crunchy on my end, Roger. Yes, sir. It's kind of fuzzy on the edges, Roger. Yes, sir. It's kind of fuzzy on the edges, Roger. Yeah, I can hear that. I can hear that on my end for sure. And um, I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably the mic gain. It's over. It's overdriving everything. I think. No, that's that's where the uh, problem is, and and I, I think the other I may have a bad uh, a bad uh, a dial on the uh, EQ plus. It may need a new uh, a new uh, potentiometer, Roger. Yeah, it sounds like um, clipping diode clipping. That's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you know, when a solid state device clips, it it buzzes, uh, and that's not the way to to handle um, uh, compression. Uh, you do it uh, through a, like, well, like through a tube. Uh, if you use a tube, uh, it's very warm uh, and it does a very nice job as opposed to uh, just crunching it. And, and uh, uh, if you were to uh, say, um, uh, and on a test bench, if you were to run 100 cycles uh, or uh, 1KC, if you were to run 1KC through that uh, compressor on your, your ex external compressor, run 1KC through that, and you would, uh, at the level that you are, you will hear a second harmonic frequency uh, above the 1KC, and you'll hear it very plainly. And that's... Uh, um, uh, distortion, um, uh, odd harmonic distortion because it's a solid state device and it creates odd harmonic distortion. Roger. Device and it creates odd harmonic distortion. Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Um, now it's, uh, it's off and I'm, I'm not running it. So uh, I think what I could do is just take it out of line and get rid of it completely and uh, and just not even uh, not even use it, and uh, maybe uh, I have a feeling some of the potentiometers may be dirty, and they may need to get clean, or they may need to be changed. Yes, sir. Well, if you want to check it, just run 50 cycles through it, and listen to the output, and you'll hear your your volumes crunching around, because. Uh, 50 cycles is a low note, but uh, your your static your carbon uh, pots will um, uh, cause uh, uh, staticky distortion, and you'll be able to hear them go beep, 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 you know. But you know, you'd have to uh, put some uh, lubrication on those uh, on those pots. They're, sometimes they don't go bad; they just go um, go crunchy, and you need to lubricate them, Roger. Go um, go crunchy, and you need to lubricate them, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. I've, I've done that before with uh, contact cleaner. I don't know if that's the right stuff to use, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I'll probably just pull it out and um, set it aside and just run the uh, mic because the mic still passes through it, but I have all the buttons off. So uh, I think it's still affected by it a little bit, and I would like to probably just run it through the radio and uh, just deal with the radio uh, without that. So uh, for another time, though, Jim, I appreciate it. 
Roger, Bob, you sound magnificent now. I, I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, I would, I would get rid of the uh, external box. But I, and, and you know how to set that level uh, with audio and adjust your mic gain for two-thirds on your ALC meter. So when you pull your box, double-check your ALC level uh, with audio and, and mic gain. Roger? Check your ALC level uh, with audio and, and mic gain. Roger? Yeah, Roger that. You know, I've, I've got a lot uh, that, you know, the EQ is, well, one, two, three. I'm sorry, repeat. It's like a 19-band EQ, right? And, and EQ sorry, stuff repeat. we can't even hear on the radio. And then I have the onboard processor, the upboard processor, and then uh, uh, mic gain, and then uh, there's a slapback uh, effects processor for uh, some slapback. And uh, the output level, and I'm sure I'm sure you're somewhat familiar with these, Roger. Uh, yeah, I, I would just leave everything the same, except I would get rid of the external stuff. I think your radio internally is a lot cleaner. You know, I hear no distortion uh, on your signal now, Roger. You know, I hear no distortion uh, on your signal now, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. So uh, that's the uh, that's the Canwood and. Um, I know they have good audio, and I know uh, it's just... Hey, Bob, you still have a copy? Hey, Bob, uh, this is KC9 VKV. Uh, uh, do you still have a copy? Uh, do you still have a copy? Hey, Roger, Roger, I still got you, Jim. Uh, I still, I still have you. Uh, maybe we doubled or something. I don't know. All right, I just lost my uh, Milford SDR, and uh, I won't be able to get back to it. So uh, just let me say uh, 73 to you, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And if you get a chance, uh, go to YouTube, do a call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, and it'll take you right to this recording. Roger. KC followed by the word logbook, and it'll take you right to this recording. Roger. Roger that, Jim. Uh, I just uh, I just unplugged the uh, the audio, uh, the, the EQ plus, and now I'm running straight audio. ALC is a little high right now, and I appreciate it, Jim. And uh, yeah. Roger, Roger, Bob, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And if you get a chance, uh, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is, oh, I see by the clock on the wall, a dead fly. Ooh. So we got to get out of here. Uh, since uh, 3.30, we've been recording live. And uh, now if you participated and wanted to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call at a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. And it'll be cut number one in a series of 2,600 QSO V-Log air check recordings. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So with that, we got to get out of here and uh, say 73 and this is Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor returning the frequency back to normal amateur radio use this is KC9 VKV clear